Man, you guys need to like save more often. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to another anime reaction here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. It is AVR squared, and we are here with finally <laughs> our near Automata uh, version 1.1 a <laughs> episode 12. Uh, reaction. I'm Kyle. This is Christine. That's our husbando, Brian. Please do hit that subscribe button if it's something that you uh, haven't done already because we got a lot of really great content here on the channel. Check it out. Anime reactions, our uh, Legend of Crimson, the Kono Super movie reactions are going up. If it's not a reaction video, podcasts all go up wherever you get your uh, podcast from. LRM Online for uh, celebrity interviews from the LRM YouTube channel, all the podcasts and uh, written news reviews and more. And of course, hey, we've got merch. So check all that out. Brian's channel, Pulp Mythos, also linked down in the description box below. Brian, how you feeling, man? <laughs> I'm here. I'm excited. Curious how this is going to go. I know, right? And especially since apparently uh, we need to make sure we watch all the way through to the end. Um, and yeah, like I said before, we're supposed to hopefully be getting a season two uh, next year. Christine, how about you? Are you ready to see... How they wrap this all up? Yeah, just a little disappointed because it's like it's the end, and I don't know if they're going to have another season. Yeah, it's, it's been sad. fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's sad what happened production-wise. We're desperately hoping the same doesn't come of Zom One Hundred, which is on a two-week hiatus right now, which really just blows. But uh, yeah, let's get into this reaction. Yay! Authorization? We don't need no authorization. Somebody blows their nose and you want to collect their snot. <laughs> Crunchy roll. Where's my um? I mean, this is actually a really good uh, OP, but you know we're reacting here. Where's my skip intro button? <laughs> <laughs> You've given me a taste, Crunchy roll. That was the problem. Damn it! See, see. Just leave it be. No. <laughs> it's too much work. <laughs> it's too much time. <laughs> Oh shit, it's Magneto. <laughs> I mean, dude, white hair. Magnus had some some longer hair. Was it was it when he was running around as as Magnus using that name when he had the longer hair? I don't remember. Yeah, Magneto. Longer hair. I don't I don't think it was that long. Yeah. Iron Man. Spartacus. Atomic. I am atomic. <laughs> Sephiroth. Nice, Christine. Thank you. Definitely just made a few people's days watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Do it. Thanks for the assist. Mm -hmm. Or is it? I know, you have no wood to knock on, and yet you said it. <laughs> Dun dun dun. <laughs> it 
And you guys need to like save more often. <laughs> God, <laughs> like you're you're playing this like it's a a, a 2010s and a, and above uh, RPG, and uh, you need to be playing it like it's 1995, like <laughs> like where you're screaming, "Where the hell can I save? I I need to get to the world map or a tent, damn it!" <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be the one to kill him. Off him. Now. Hurry up before it spreads. I know, right? I mean, it, yeah, it's really, really sad. It'd be really, really uh, hard to do. Choke him out. <laughs> Put your hand out. Choke yourself! <laughs> Anyone that gets that reference, you and I are now friends. She is. Oh, she was crying. There we go. Oh, you mean literally choke her, choke him out? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you were trying to be funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's my favorite ending. No, I'm joking. Well, wait, wait we're a second, because be like, wait, wait. because didn't he already? Uh, they had a big chunk of adventure, and he already had to be reloaded once back back up. They both did him an, at least one additional time, so they're not gonna lose. They're not gonna lose that much of him. I mean, they still had a big big chunk of this should be backed up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still sad, sort of. I mean, I've lost a lot of memories through brain injury. I'm, I'm still. You're still okay with me? Yeah. <laughs> ah, she says always. <laughs> if it gets faster, run. I know, right? That's what I was thinking. She was a Final Fantasy fan, Final Fantasy Seven fan. It seems that yeah. last one we we saw. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> Now hurry up and upload to the bunker and get a new body. Or maybe he won't be able to because he's in that. Crazy. Mm -hmm. We'll let it play through. So, uh, because there's still half the run time left. Uh, how how do you think about that? At least climax and and end part right there, Brian. Before we get to what else well, uh, happens, that's one of the many endings. Um, I'm cu curious. Is that one of the big big ones for the three playthroughs? Yeah, there, so there's, I guess it's a very complicated game to explain. There's 26 oh, okay. or 24 endings Total endings, that you could yeah. get. And oh. some of them we've seen in puppet form. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They've joked about some of them in the puppet thing. Um, that's a well, good one. What do you one. think about the, uh, oh, sorry, that's a timer for our sons. Uh, anyways, um, what do you think of the, of them playing out through that, through that ending it, it was a good emotional one and then has the nice little happy ending so i thought that was all done decent um i'm very curious to what's going to happen after these credits mm. what about you babe how, how do you feel about it i don't <laughs> <laughs> i i don't know i just i don't feel strongly 
positively or negatively. I, I don't know. <laughs> your your policy uh, goes too far, and I say your policy doesn't go far enough. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of get that. I'm really curious as to what... Um, as to what what's going to come next, of course, but also I think a lot of this really suffers one from the the initial delays that we dealt with, and then us ourselves in getting these re uh, getting these recorded. So I'm still going to blame uh, anyone anyone but us. <laughs> and structurally, the way this episode opens, a lot of that emotion is just taken the break yeah, yeah so it's just like i mean that's why i was making jokes earlier but whatever. <laughs> i'm so glad i don't have to actually walk around in my in my brain be exhausting more like just time consuming because you're not yeah. actually walking corruption now in the bunk now in the bunker it's Tron. <laughs> Tron itself, I still feel, is a little underrated, but Legacy is like fully underrated. It's a fun movie. It's not bad at all. Agreed. And the domino went ahuga. <laughs> it's like asteroids. Yeah. Also in the game. Come play with us, I know. That's what I was thinking too. Oh, that's what I was Don't eat from the tree. <laughs> Especially an underwater tree. That's going to be seriously mushy fruit. Okay. Sorry, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything special here. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a lot. So, 3,400. Jeez, been a long time. Uh... <laughs> Well, it sets up for us to go explore the the people behind the the deception and why it's continuing and 
all of that. Uh, Brian, now that you've seen that, how you how you feeling about this uh, this first season? Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Do you think it's because of all the the distance uh, in between? Yeah, that didn't help stuff? at all. Um. Like even if we watched all these together, do you think it would have made a big difference or? I'm not, you know, maybe. I think the last two episodes almost needed to be one viewing. Yeah. That would have helped a little bit. Um, yeah. What about you, Christine? I don't know. <laughs> I I still like it overall. And part of me wonders if uh, later, not anytime soon, but later rewatching maybe even the last four episodes as a chunk or, or something like that, all, all in a, in one setting, if that'll make it feel a little bit, uh, better. But I, I do think that, you know, both the production issues and our own, our own production issues, uh, definitely had an effect. Ooh, preview. <laughs> Okay. So kind of showing the so to speak reset there. <laughs> well, I appreciate one last shot of uh waving puppet. So uh yeah, there you guys go. Near Automata version 1.1a season one all done. I don't even know if it would be fair to grade it at this point because of the feelings that we've kind of had now. I definitely think this was on its way to a good uh, B plus A minus range as a full season, but I I just don't know if I if I could put myself in the right mind to give it a a, a solid. This is where I stand. But what about yeah. what about a grade range? Do you think you might be in, Christine? In the Bs, I liked it. But yes, like I don't quite know how much. Yeah. It just seems like Brian? The game's an A. This is like a C plus for me. Oh wow. Okay. Well Brian definitely has the the both benefit or uh disadvantage of having played the uh game. Does this make you interested in playing the it game, Christine? Makes me interested in replaying the game, I was about to say. <laughs> That's cool. What about you? Maybe. Maybe. I'm thinking of it. Potentially maybe um yeah let us know what you guys thought of it down in the in the comments below of course and then uh be sure to subscribe here on the genreverse youtube channel uh lots of great content like i said if it's not a reaction video goes up on all your favorite podcast apps lrmonline.com website for all written things plus videos and podcasts from uh all your favorite uh contributors and and whatnot here in lrm and genreverse there's merch of course brian tell them about your channel hold mythos check it out all right, guys, uh, we got some Mushoku Tensei to watch, so bye.